welcome back to my youtube channel this is purity yes so welcome to my channel please remember to subscribe if you love my videos give them a thumbs up and today we are crocheting this beautiful bomber jacket it's much of a bomber jacket i will show you shortly how it looks and i had the daisy flower in my mind when i was making this jacket and that's why i put these roses here and flower here flower here yep and a flower here so i'll show you shortly how the bomber jacket looks in general and please remember to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up i'm hoping you'll enjoy making this cardigan strap jacket so let me show you how it looks then we will begin with the tutorial this is how my jacket looks it's giving me cozy vibes it's also beautiful and warm and this is the wrist area it looks like this and i put flowers at the wrist area and flowers at the front panel this is how the back panel looks so let's get started with the tutorial to work on this cardigan we will start from the back panel then come to the front panels then do the sleeves ribbing other sleeves then we'll do the lower ribbing and finish up with the neck ribbing then put these flowers and our cardigan will be done all you need for this project is your shoulder to shoulder measurements and your sleeves measurements then you'll be good to go so take your shoulder to shoulder measurements and your sleeves measurement and the height where you want your cardigan to reach i am using chunky yarn this is a hundred percent acrylic yarn and it's a brand known as robin it's kenyan brand I'm also using white yarn which is chunky and 100% acrylic yarn. A 5.0 mm hook is what we'll use for crocheting. A 2.5 mm hook will be used for joining. We'll also use a darning needle, stitch markers, a pair of scissors and a tape measure for this project. So to begin, take your shoulder to shoulder measurements and you'll make a slip knot. This is how I make my slip knot. Remember we are starting from the back panel. So you'll chain as long as your shoulder to shoulder measurements is. Mine is 18 inches, which is equivalent to 65 chains. Remember this cardigan stroke jacket can fit size small or medium so we are chaining 65 chains which is equivalent to 18 inches i am done with my chains and this is 18 inches we are using half double crochets to create this cardigan so chain two more chains skip the first two chains from the hook and on the third chain make a half double crochet and we are making half double crochets across all the stitches that you have i'll meet you at the end of this first row I am done with row one and this is how my work looks to begin row two chain two one and two turn your work 
and we're doing half double crochets across all the stitches that we have and remember i had 65 chains so we're doing half double crochets across all the stitches that you have and i'll meet you at the end of the second row I'm done in row 2 and this is how it looks. To begin row 3, you will chain 2. Turn your work and you're doing half double crochets across all the chains, stroke stitches that you have. So that is the pattern. We will, we will work with half double crochets until you get to a height where you want your cardigan to reach so the length of my cardigan is 17 inches that's how long i'll want my cardigan to reach minus the ribbing so we are working half double crochets uh, until we get to 17 inches that is the height of the back panel okay so i'll meet you once we are changing the yarn to blue so as per now we are working half double crochets all the way until we change our yarn to color blue I have worked 8.5 inches of this white yarn this is where we want to change our yarn to color blue so this is 8.5 inches and i want to join my yarn in the most basic way because this is diy so we're doing things in a very very simple basic but neat work so once you've done with your white yarn this is how we will join in the blue yarn Join the blue yarn, cut off your yarn and just um, make a knot like this and make it tight enough so that it doesn't run when you are crocheting. Make sure it's tight enough then you will cut off the ends using a pair of scissors. Make sure it's at the bottom so that it doesn't show on your cardigan like that and then we will continue with the pattern which is we chain two to begin a new row. One, two. Turn your work and we're doing half double crochets. So we just continue with the pattern and we'll work like that until we get to 17 inches, which is the height of our cardigan minus the ribbing. So that is how I change my yarn in the most simplest but neat way. So let's do half double crochets until you get to the length that you wish your cardigan to reach. And I'll meet you once we are doing the next thing which is the front panels. I am done and this is how my back panel looks. Remember we combine the white and blue yarn and this is how it looks. This should be 17 inches. The white part was 8.5 inches and this other one is 7 inches. So we want to work on the front panels.
cut off your yarn and tie a knot like that it should be tight and fold your garment remember this is the back panel we are folding it into two like that and fold it again in a second half that is the first half fold the second half like that and please your work should be well aligned because we want to find our front panel so make sure it's well aligned then fold it into two so we are folding two halves okay this is how we find a perfect front panel without counting stitches okay so once you have your two halves like that will go in the outer part like this and put a stitch marker we'll put a stitch marker here this is the, the corner of a first half i'm using this blue yarn as my stitch marker i have misplaced my stitch markers so this will work as a stitch marker and we'll go to the inside part at the corner and put our second stitch marker okay like that and once you're done we'll unfold your work and it should look like this so this is how we find front panels without counting and wasting so much time and we will now start working on our front panels on the front panels we will reattach your yarn here or just before your stitch marker a stitch before your stitch marker that's where you reattach your yarn and remember we are working with white yarn so that's how you reattach your yarn remove your first stitch marker and we are working half double crochets until you get to the end of the row okay i hope this is clear so work half double crochets and i'll meet you at the end of this row one i am done with the first row to begin row two chain two turn your work and we are working with half double crochets until we get to where we started okay which is where we removed our stitch marker remember these are the front panels that you are working on and we are doing half double crochets until where we began from okay so i'll meet you at the end of this first row i mean second row i'm done and this is row two this is how it looks remember now we are turning our work from here chain two turn your work and do half double crochets all through so this is the pattern now we are turning from here which is 5.5 inches if you measure or 5 inches it varies and we are working like this until we change our yarn to blue remember the back panel we chained up to 8.5 inches and also this front panel we will work up to 8.5 inches then we will change our yarn to blue then continue with half double crochets until the front panel is the same measurement to the back panel 
so i will meet you when we're changing our yarn to blue I am done and now it's time to change to blue yarn this is how my work looks so far so we will change the yarn the same same way we did with the back panel just cut off the um, remaining part of white yarn join in the blue yarn and cut off the ends and then we will continue with the pattern till we get to the same measurements as the back panel so right now I'm just joining in the blue yarn like that and make sure it's really really tight so it doesn't run okay and then you'll cut off the ends using a pair of scissors and make sure you cut it to the bottom but not where you tied a knot it should be like that and then we'll continue with the pattern which is half double crochets till you get to a height of the back panel okay so that is the pattern we'll work on this first front panel do the same thing that we will we have done here to a second front panel so you need to have one back panel and two front panel okay so I'll meet you once you have your two front panels done and one back panel. Then we'll start working on the sleeves. okay i'm done and these are my two front panels and one back panel looks like this the front panels are the same measurements as the back panel that is the same height okay so we are going to put this aside and work on the sleeves i worked on one of the sleeves and this is how it looks it has the ribbing at the bottom here and it's also color white and blue so to get your uh, sleeves measurements measure your upper part of your arm and this is 19 inches long plus the ribbing so minus the ribbing it's 17 inches long so as i was saying to get your sleeves measurements measure your upper arm and my upper arm is 13 inches that's how i got my sleeve measurements and measure your hand minus the wrist area so that's how you get your sleeves measurements your arm measurements and your hand measurements minus the wrist area we are working on our sleeve right now so begin by making a slip knot this is how you make a slip knot and then you will chain as long as your arm measurements is as i said my arm measurements is 13 inches which is equivalent to 45 chains so right now i'm chaining 45 chains and remember we are beginning with white yarn I am done with my 45 chains 
and now we want to start working on the half double crochet chain two more chains skip the first two chains on the third chain do half double crochet we have been working with this pattern before so we'll work half double crochets across all the chains that you have and i'll meet you at the end of this first row I am done with row one and this is how it looks and as I said this is 13 inches which is equivalent to 45 chains to begin the next row chain two turn your work and do half double crochets across all the stitches that you have so that is the pattern we are working with half double crochets until we get to 8.5 inches that is where we will change to color blue yarn then continue up to 17 inches that is the height of my sleeve from the shoulder area up to where i want my wrist ribbing to begin from okay so we're just working with half double crochets up to 8.5 inches then we will change yarn to blue and continue with the pattern and i'll meet you once you have the wrist area remember this is how our work looks we are chaining sorry we are stitching up to here and i'll meet you and show you how we do the ribbing at the waist area I'm done and this is one of my sleeves and this is 17 inches long as I said minus the ribbing area and now we want to work on this ribbing area and to work on the ribbing area we need to do reductions so your sleeve fits well on your wrist area so to begin on the reductions you will chain 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and we will do single crochet so i chain one more it makes it 11 and we are doing single crochets all through the chains that we made okay and remember to turn your work as you saw i just did that so we are making single crochets across all the 10 stitches that we've just done and i'll meet you on the 10th single crochet so i show you how we do our first reduction okay i'm done with my single crochets across all the 10 stitches to do our first reduction we will skip this first stitch here go to the next one and do a slip stitch like that one slip stitch go to the next do a second slip stitch go to the third stitch and do a third slip stitch then you turn your work and skip the three slip stitches that we've done and now we are working single crochets in the back loop only initially we go through all stitches but now we're only going through one which is at the back loop and we are working single crochets in the back loop only until we get to the top and i will show you something different once we get to our ninth stitch okay as for now we are doing single crochets in the back loop only until you get your ninth stitch 
and I'll meet you on the 10th stitch. Okay, we are at the top here. As I said, I'll meet you at the top. And once you get to your 10th stitch, we'll go through all the stitches. We're not doing back loop only. We're doing a normal single crochet at the 10th stitch like that. And then you will chain one, turn your work. And to begin a new row, we are doing single crochets in the back loop only all the way till you get your 10th stitch down there and i'll show you again how we do our reduction so i'll meet you once we're doing the second reduction We are at our second reduction. Always remember to skip this first stitch here. Skip this. Go to the next one. Make a slip stitch like that. Make a second slip stitch. And a third slip stitch. And then turn your work. Skip the three slip stitches you've made. And work single crochet in the back loop only beginning from the 10th stitch okay that's where we begin the single crochets in the back loop only and always remember to count your work make sure the single crochets are always 10 okay so when you're making the single crochets in the back loop only always count them and make sure they're 10 okay i'm at the end and always remember here on this last stitch we do a normal single crochet so we go through all the two like that and then you will chain one turn your work to begin a new row and it's a row of single crochet in the back loop only so that is the only difference at the top here we do a normal single crochet you turn your work and start with single crochets at the back loop only and when you get to the end we are doing reductions okay so that is the pattern i'm hoping it's clear if not you can pause and rewatch and i'll show you again how once to do the reduction skip this stitch this one go to the next one and do the first slip stitch go to the next do a second slip stitch go to the third do a third slip stitch then you turn your work skip the three slip stitches that you've made and start doing single crochet on the back loop only till you get to the top and once you're at the top remember you do a normal single crochet at the top here you will chain one turn your work and do single crochets in the back loop only so that is the pattern and i'll meet you once you're done with the ribbing on your sleeve okay i'll meet you once you're done i am done and this is how my work looks you'll see this is the wrong side and make another sleeve so you'll have two identical sleeves and now we want to join the sleeves to the front panel and back panel gamut so you lay your gamut straight like this take your sleeve fold it into two so you'll find the wrong side You'll see the wrong side from the wrist area. And we want to join. And while joining, always remember we're joining the wrong side up. We're always joining on the wrong side. So once you fold it into two like this, you'll bring it in the middle part from where we join the front panel. 
and using a stitch marker we will help it join together so you don't miss out a stitch join using your stitch marker i'm still using the blue yarn that is the middle part of your sleeve so join and bring it to the middle part remember where we joined our first front panel here this is where we will join our sleeve so put your stitch marker here and join the two together okay it will help you find the middle part of your sleeve much easier than counting so do that and also we will do the same thing to our other sleeves so that is the middle part and then we will turn this around and join using single crochets so i don't want my stitch markers to move that's why i'm just tying it together to make sure my measurements are accurate okay and then we will turn this around like this and we will start joining using single crochets Make sure your work is well aligned and I'm using a 2.5 mm hook to join. You can use a darning needle to join. I've reattached my yarn and join the two together. Wherever there's white yarn, use white yarn to join. Wherever there's blue yarn, we'll use blue yarn to join. And I'll meet you once you're done joining this using single crochets. I am done joining and this is how it looks remember we are joining on the wrong side and this is how it looks so you'll continue joining on this other side until you get to where the blue starts then you'll change your yarn to blue and finish joining go ahead and join the rest of the parts together join the other sleeve together using single crochets and I'll meet you once you have your gamut joined i am done and this is how it looks everything is joined together and now we want to work on the lower ribbing then we'll finish up with this front panels ribbing so we'll start with the lower ribbing we'll reattach our yarn on one of these ends and then we will do double crochets all round the gamut. So we'll reattach our yarn here. And then we are doing double crochets all round the gamut. That is the lower part only.
I am done doing double crochets and now you want to begin on the first row of the ribbing remember we've done double crochets just at the lower side of the garment to begin on row one of the ribbing you will chain two one two turn your work and we are working with front post and back post we are beginning with the front post this is how we do a front post and the next stitch will be a back post will go at the back of this double crochet like that and do a back post so we are doing front post and back post we are alternating between front post and back post all through until we come to the end so do that and i'll meet you at the end of this row I am done with the first row and this is how it looks um the lighting is quite bad but just bear with me to begin on row two of the ribbing you will chain two turn your work first chain two then you will turn your work and now it's easier because where there was a front post we'll just go in there and put a front post like here this is a front post just go in there and put and front a front post then go where, wherever there was a back post and put a back post like that now it's quite easier because we're just working with where there was a front post you'll put a front post where there is a back post you will put a back post okay so that is the pattern and we'll work, work like this until five rows so we're just doing five rows of front posts and back posts so i'll meet you at the end of this second row Okay, I went ahead and did the five rows. Remember to always chain two to begin a new row and we are working with front post and back post. So for the front panel is the same thing. Start by doing um, a double crochet all round. Then we will do front posts and back post. Just the same, same thing that we have done with the lower ribbing it's the same thing that we'll do with the front panel ribbing and we will also do five rows but first to begin i'm showing you how we do it so we will do chain two first and then we're just doing double crochets all around the front panels like this once you're done with doing these double crochets, you'll go ahead and do front post and back post and we'll work five rows. Okay? So I'll meet you once you have your five rows done of ribbing.
so i am done and i did the five rows of ribbing and i also put flowers i will show you how i put that flower i'll show you on this side and i'll also show you how we create the flowers okay don't worry about that <laughs> so this is how the cardigan looks we did the five rows of ribbing in the front panels and five rows of ribbing at the lower panel so the only thing remaining is to attach the flowers after making the flowers so this is how the cardigan will look okay so let's create the flowers joy then stitch them in now we want to make the flowers and i'm using yellow yarn this is a hundred percent acrylic yarn and a 3.5 mm hook to start making on the flower i should leave a long yarn hanging around which is a tail it will be used to stitch in the flowers to the garment and then you'll need to make a slip knot and as usual this is how i make my slip knot and then chain three one two three yarn over go to the first chain that we made and make a double crochet yarn over again go to the same space and make a second double crochet that's how we make a magic ring as you can see there's a small magic ring once you're done with the two double crochets chain two go inside the same space and make a slip stitch like that that is a magic ring you can see the small space then you'll chain two make our first double crochet and a second double crochet you can see now our ring is quite big then chain two and make a slip stitch that's how we make our flower you can see now we have two flowers so chain two go inside the ring make the first double crochet the second double crochet and then you'll chain two make a slip stitch okay after the slip stitch always remember to chain two make the first double crochet the second double crochet okay and then chain two and make a slip stitch that's how we make our flower and we're making five of this okay so that is how we make our beautiful flower chain two make a slip stitch so that's how we make these simple cute flowers as i said i wanted daisy vibes because my cardigan has white um yarn somewhere so i thought yellow will reflect daisies okay as i said we are making five of these two flowers and that is five once you're done you'll cut off your yarn where we did the slip stitch cut it off like that and tie a knot and remember that long yarn that we left hanging it will help us make this flower much beautiful once we tighten it like that so tighten using the long yarn that you 
left and then we will cut off this yarn that is hanging around after we're done making our flower so that's how we make these cute little flowers and then we will cut off this yarn this one not the long one but this one like that and the only thing remaining is the long yarn on our little cute flower i'm hoping it's clear you can go back and rewatch if not clear and we had made six of these flowers So now we want to make a stem for this flower we'll just join yarn to make a much longer yarn like this make it tight and then we'll just come inside here there's this space that is inside here like this and then we will make a slip knot like that yeah like that and then we're just going to do chains so i did a total of 35 chains if you need a longer stem do more chains that's how i made the stem of my flower so i did a total of 35 chains once you're done you'll cut off your yarn and then we'll be ready to sew in our flowers to our cardigan so this is it and, and i'm using a darning needle to stitch in our flowers we'll start stitching in from the stem so just position it well and I'm using a darning needle and yellow yarn, okay? And we'll just go in and out of each stitch that we made but make sure you have very long yarn left hanging in your darning needle and we're just going in and out like this of each chain that we did. all the way up to the flower when we reach the flower we'll go around the flower and that's how we stitch in these flowers and the flowers with the stems so so simple right so that is how we stitch it in I'm done stitching in my flower and this is how the inside part looks. Once you're done, just go around the flower like this. This is to reinforce it. And then we'll cut off your yarn. Okay? And we'll be done joining your flower. Make sure you tie a knot and then be good to go so go ahead and join the rest of the flowers this is how the inside part looks and this is how the outside part looks 
here we will just join these two together and then cut off the rest of the yarn So to join the normal flowers, remember the yarn that you left hanging, that's what we'll use to join. Just put it inside the darning needle and now we want to join this flower here at the shoulder area. And we'll just put it in like this. And then you will go in, out, in, out, all round the flower. So this is how my cardigan turned out so so pretty and I love it so so much. Thank you for watching. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And always remember to subscribe. See you in my next video. Goodbye. And remember to leave me a comment. I love you all. Goodbye.